Hi there, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through how to climb in Forspoken. As you can see on the screen, it can be done as ever. Hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below, subscribe to the channel. It's massively, massively appreciated. But all of the abilities to climb that help you to climb need to be unlocked. So they're all skills or spells, as is the case in Forspoken. And the first of these is this fount that you'll get really early on, just as you're heading south from Sir Paul to do your first entry into the break. So it's literally as you're heading out, you'll pick up that spell. I assume most of you have this and you'll be able to do a little bit of climbing, but it doesn't do loads and loads. You can see here, it'll get me to the top of this wall, but it isn't enough to be able to get me to the top of big cliffs. And I'm gonna talk you through that now. So to be able to get up to the top of cliffs, you need to have beaten the first of the Tantas, Tantasila. Once you beat her, you'll take on all of her skills and abilities. And one of these is called Zip. And it's a spell that you get as soon as you take out Tantasila. And you'll be able to zip to these anchor points. So there's two types. There's one that comes out from a wall like this. It's like a little spike that you spin around and jump forward. And then there's these that are on cliffs that will shoot you high up in the air. Now it takes a little bit of time and you've got to get your aim just right. You'll need to combine it with zips off the wall as well. But if you use those wisely and add in a little bit of leap every now and again, you should be able to make it to the top. But that isn't all you can do later in the game when you're on the way to the second Tanta. You'll come to this area, the water garden, and you're looking for this fount to the right of Marvale Bridge. You can see here's an avalet, and then as soon as you head into it, you'll then pick up a new spell, and this time, it's Saw, and this is essentially like Leap, but instead of just being able to do one or two extra jumps off the wall, you get a series of them, which you can see on the screen. So it definitely helps out, and you can see you can go from pretty much the ground and just using this ability to get yourself all the way to the top here, but you'll still need to use the angles of the rock to be able to get as high as possible. So you can see here that I'm trying to aim for the little ledge on the right hand side for my last one, which will help me get to the top. And that's pretty much how to climb in Forspoken. Now there are a few other spells which you can go after, which will make it easier to climb. So when you take out Tanta Prav, you'll get up and away, which will allow you to jump higher into the air in the first place. And then later on in a skill tree, you'll be able to find a fount in Visoria. It's in the bottom left, the far southwest of the map to be able to get to it. It's the Lilac Fount and it's located in Inner Visoria, far to the southwest. So that's one you'll pick up later in the game and that will allow you to float across divides, which will allow you to get to some of the places that are a little bit more hard to get to. But with all of that, you've got access to the full map with the climbing abilities and everything else I just talked about there. And that, like I said, is how to climb in Forspoken. If the video helps you out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel with the link on the left hand side and you can see more of my guide videos for Forspoken with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments, let me know how you're getting on in the game and I will catch you next time.